Uh, I, I guess I'll I'll start by asking. Um, I know that these projects have kind of been gestating or kind of been swimming around in your head for a while um, in terms of getting them done. Uh, but I have to ask also, you know, was there he- some hesitation on your part to 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 make the films? Because I, you know, even though it was an idea that was kind of swimming around, you know, these are very iconic uh, video game characters. And, you know, as you will know, when, when, it, when it's anything that's, you know, iconic such as this, you know, you come across fans that are very sensitive when it comes to, you know, how characters are portrayed and, and how they're done. So, you know, what, what, was, what, what was the feeling when, when you were first, you know, making uh, this, these short films of, of for the main characters from the uh, Super Mario Brothers? Yeah, I mean, I... I've always been a big fan of the uh, of the uh, Super Mario Brothers from when I was probably five or six years old, and played I played you know you know tons of the games since they first uh, came out, um, and I I definitely see what you're saying because basically what we've done is we've we've taken these familiar characters and kind of spun them in a fresh new way. Uh, but, you know, I wasn't too worried about it because I feel like in the kind of culture of the internet, there is this kind of, this idea that, you know, you, you sort of take these properties that exist out in the world and sort of for fun kind of spin them and turn them around on their heads. Um, and and sort of almost, you know, I've been almost describing them as remixing them um, a little bit. So, yeah, people, you know, some people have been, have, some people have been sensitive to it. Some people kind of object to depicting sort of a, a more innocent, colorful, happy character in a kind of darker, grittier way. But that's sort of the whole point of what I was trying to to do so i didn't let it worry me too much okay all right um so you know now that the short films are you know are now made and finished uh is there any you know desire to potentially have these uh short films evolve into full-length features because i I know that with uh snow white and a huntsman you know you you kind of had that idea of a grittier you know style or aesthetic for that film and you know you know it, it it became the full length feature that we know now that's a, now a blockbuster and is already spawning a, a film, I, I believe, is, you know, set to release in 2015. Um, so, so is that the intention with this film or is it kind of just like a passion project that, you know, you just wanted to kind of uh, have an opportunity to do? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have asked whether the goal was to, like, do a feature version of Mario. I mean, look. I'd love to see a feature version of Mario. You know, working on a feature version of Mario would be great. I think we're a long way off from that, uh, just in the industry, because I think ever since that Super Mario Brothers movie from the early 90s, there's been a big divide, you know, between Hollywood and Nintendo. So it's it's been really hard, you know, to, to get, you know, to... To, to get movies going on Mario or Zelda or properties like that. So, yeah, you know, that was not really at the forefront of my mind, especially given how hard it would be to do that, you know, but like, mm-hmm. but I'd be, I'd love to see a Mario movie. And, you know, what I, what I would really like to do is be able to take kind of the feel and the tone and the vibe of these shorts and be able to sort of, you know, do a longer form feature at some point, which would be really cool. Okay, great. Uh, well, well, while we're still, you know, on on the topic of, you know, uh, uh, remakes or, or reboots or, or reimaginings, if you will, um, you know, you're working on yeah. another project that's set to uh, release next year with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, and there, there's been uh, a, a lot of controversy, you know, surrounding that film with, with the, you know, the lore and the, and the mythology uh, of what what things have been changed and, you know, what things have been, you know, kept the same. And I, I've talked to a lot of, yeah. you know, folks about it. I, I talked to uh, Eastman 
uh, back at Comic Con this past year about it, and you know he's he's already oh. he, you know he put a stamp on it, and, and he you know he's very you know excited about it, and even uh, uh, William uh, Fitchner, I think he's been commenting on on saying you know how it's you know different and it's going to you know uh, uh, surprise a lot of people. So you know, can you t- talk a can you, can you provide like something? I know you can't talk too much about it, but can you? Uh, provide something to, you know, folks out there that are curious on, on what they can expect from that film? Yeah, I mean, the, these projects sort of, like, they stay in development for a long time, so, you know, different drafts are written where people go in different directions, and sometimes yeah. you stray a little further from the source material, uh, et cetera. Like, you know, what I, I'm a massive fan of the Ninja Turtles. I watched, I had all the toys, I watched the cartoon all the time when I was a kid. So when I came on board, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that, um, that, that some, some core things of the mythology remain. Mm-hmm. Um, so in terms of pleasing the fans and, and being kind of faithful to the mythology of the Ninja Turtles, I think people are not going to be disappointed at all. Now, now you know, at the same time, you know, we want to make a something new as fresh, movie right. of it. You know, so we want to do something fresh and different. So some of the, you know, so so some of the, uh, you know, we're bringing some some interesting, fun, cool new stuff to the table. Um, but look, I mean, you know, it's 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 it's. All, I guess all I can say about it is it's a it's a it's going to be a Ninja Turtle movie and it's going to be a really great Ninja Turtle movie. Cool, cool. All right. So, so uh, I'm wondering. I know that it, it comes out next year. Is can, do you have an idea of when uh, uh, folks can have a first look at that film? Do you know when they may be releasing a trailer for that film? That's a good question. I don't know. It comes out this summer, so I would imagine uh, sometime. Uh, you know, sometime next year, springtime, maybe you start okay. seeing stuff creeping out. Would be my would be my thinking. Okay. Uh, I'm certainly looking forward to seeing, um, you know, what the turtles look like because, of yeah. course, on set they were all mocap actors. Right. Right. Uh, well, well, while we're you know while we're again on that topic of, of remakes and reboots and, and reimaginings, you know what what is your you know what is your stance on on that trend that we're seeing with films? Because I mean, you I'm sure you can agree with me. You know, some have been you know outstanding, some have been great, and you know others have been you know lacking. So, you know, what's your you know impressions or what's your stance on that trend that we've been seeing? Sure. Yeah, I think. Look, I, I there, you know, I'll start by saying that there's like there's not enough original movies being made in Hollywood. That's that's true. But what I also think is it's a little. I find it a little unfair to sort of, you know, which a lot of people do, sort of cast that wide net and say all remakes, you know, sequels, reboots, um, are terrible. Like for instance. Uh, you know, for me, the way I look at it is these are all kind of stories that are out there in the world, and we've been sort of retelling stories again and again for thousands of years, starting mm-hmm. with you know, the Odyssey and the Iliad, and you look at some of those stories, they're really not that different from the stories we we tell now. I mean, the, the example I give is, like, a couple of years ago, everyone was sort of up in arms about how they had adapted, you know, the board game Battleship into a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, and look, you know, that movie, that movie is what it is. I, you know, I, I'm not the world's biggest fan of Battleship, but this, I, you know, there was this kind of scoffing amongst everyone that how could you ever make a board game into a movie? It's ridiculous. When one of my favorite movies as a kid, and I think people re- like really appreciate it as a great movie, is that movie Clue from the 80s. Mm-hmm. Um, which which adapted the Clue board game. Um, and to me, what it tells you is that it's really not about the source material. So I, I sometimes wish people would, would look a little bit past whether things are reboots or remakes or whatever and look at the actual execution of the movie itself and, and 
look at it on its own merit. So that, that's kind of my overall thing. That said, it would be great to get, you know, you know, it's, it's always great when something like Gravity or, you know, Inception uh, or you know, things, movies like that. It's great when those come along because they're just totally out of the blue and you've never seen anything like it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, look, I'd love to see more of those kinds of movies too. All right, so uh, the moving, you know, moving on to another topic. You know, you're also working on another major project with uh, with GI Joe three, and I know it's kind of still early at this point, but um, uh, the other installments, you know, saw major uh, uh, lineup changes with with the uh, with the team, uh, the GI Joe team, and uh, is is that kind of this the same? Um, uh, the same journey that we'll kind of experience in the third installment, or will we still have some of our fan favorites, you know, back, you know, give you an example like Storm Shadow or, or Snake Eyes, or, or will it, you know, re- evolve into, you know, an, an, another team? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, look, I'm literally, like, by the way, like, as soon as I hang up this call, I'm going to go start, uh, I'm going to go back to writing G.I. Joe, so, like, this is, like, totally in flux. Okay. Uh, it's totally in process right now, which is cool. Um, look, I mean, it's you know, of course, the big the big fan favorites are you know are going to be there because you know you know without it without a lot of those elements, it's not a GI Joe movie. Again, like I can't like turtle. I can't talk too much about it. What I can say is, I had the same exact philosophy coming into this that I did with Turtles, which is to me. Having having watched and loved the yeah, G.I. Joe show, uh, cartoon and comics when I was a kid, um, to me, what's important is coming in knowing what, you know, there have been so many different stories told within the G.I. Joe universe in the comics and cartoons and the mo- and movies and the animated movies back in the 80s. So to me, you know, G.I. Joe is really about a feeling, it's about a kind of tone, it's about having like really great action, it's about having the, uh, having fun, uh, it's about, you know, having a little bit of that kind of sci-fi, you know, element to, to it as well. So to me, I came in just wanting to make sure that, that this movie felt like a G.I. Joe movie in the same way that, you know, Ninja Turtles is a real Ninja Turtles movie. So... I think fans of both those properties are are not going to be disappointed. I mean, the, the, you know, all I can say is that I am a child of that generation. Okay. When I watched those things when I was a kid, I always wanted to work on big movie versions of them. Now I'm doing it and, and, and hopefully delivering something good for uh, for the people. Okay. All right. Well, thank you uh, so much, Evan. Thanks for your time and. Uh, you know, good luck with, you know, your future endeavors, and I, and I look forward to, you know, seeing how uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turns out and, and you know, further down the line how G.I. Joe turns out. Perfect. Thank you, sir.